Welcome to Epic Stock Due Diligence. Please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash epic stock DD. Thank you. Hey everyone, Ed here. I just wanted to talk about uh, press releases. These are official, official releases from that penny stock company. Now, although it's official, doesn't mean that it's any good. And the reason being is that uh, these press releases, when these companies put them out, they typically, and I don't know the exact price, but it, I think it's a few thousand dollars to get those out on the wires so that stock traders can see them. So uh, when they get those out, <laughs> it typically creates a, uh, a, a quick surge of uh, accumulation at the ask price because people, even before they really dissect the, the contents of that press release, they've already bought with the expectation that it's going to be positive. So now typically what a company will do, and this, this isn't every company, there are quite a few legitimate micro cap stocks out there, but most of them, they're just fluff. And not to say you can't make money off of that. I mean, there's, you know, it's, it's buy low and sell high, and you know, you can get in with, with whatever factors and get out in a timely fashion and make some profits. But when you're looking at a press release from the company, the main thing you want to be aware of are these forward looking statements. And basically all a forward looking statement means, and you don't have to be a financial guru to understand this, a forward looking statement in, in a, a plain English just means hopefully it'll happen. Doesn't mean they want it to happen, doesn't mean it will happen, hopefully it'll happen. So basically it's just a way of saying, you know, I plan to do this. So someone could say, well, you know, I plan to, uh, to go to the moon tomorrow. You know, maybe they have all you know great intentions to go to the moon tomorrow, but they don't have a rocket and they don't have any sort of uh, vehicle to get there, so it's probably not going to happen. Not to say a UFO couldn't land in their backyard and they could go up with uh, you know whatever aliens to the moon. That could happen. It's a long shot. Probably not going to. So that's forward-looking statement. So when you're looking at this press release, plan to, maybe, hope to expect to, um, intend to, it just those kind of words. So like, uh, we expect to have this product ready for, uh, ready for production by X date. So it sounds good because they expect to have a product ready for production, meaning that it could actually go out to retail stores if it was a product. But the word expect completely can, can invalidate that statement. Uh, let's see, some other things. We hope to merge with company XYZ. They hope to. Doesn't mean they've, they've put any efforts towards it. They just hope to. Some other good ones out there. Uh, we will have our new online store ready for shopping within two weeks. Well, maybe they put their store up. And maybe it's available for shopping, but they didn't say it had any inventory on it. It's just a store with nothing to purchase. That kind of thing happens a lot. Uh, our product was approved by the biggest computer manufacturer in the world. And it bears their stamp of approval. Well, maybe their product does have that. But how hard is it to... To, uh, to acquire that level of, uh, of uh, approval, I guess we could say, from that huge computer manufacturer. Maybe it's just a simple web form you fill out, and they say, here you go, you can put our little stamp of approval on it. So you really gotta dissect these things, and you gotta get on Google, and just really research every claim they make, because more than likely it's fluff. Not to say they all are, but assume it's fluff until you do your own due diligence and prove otherwise. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to check out my book, too. I've got a link in the uh, video description to that. And subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash epicstockdd.